All right, what is up guys? My name is Tyler and I'm bringing you a yet another video today and it has to regard what many of you probably already know about and that's Steve Huff from Huff Paranormal. And uh, like I said, you guys probably know, maybe you don't, but he has, I guess, quit ITC research or paranormal investigating. And we're kind of going to be talking about that a little bit here and see what's going on. If anybody doesn't know who Steve Huff is, he was actually someone involved in ITC research. And in short, that basically means he was experimenting with different devices to try and capture spirit voices, demonic voices, ghost voices, whatever you guys put it as. If anybody knows or doesn't know, uh, Steve has actually been involved in this community, the paranormal community, for many years now. He's been trying to uh, mess with different devices. He created to talk to spirits or to communicate with the spirit world. Many people have different opinions about him. Some people just dread him. They don't care about him. They wish he would be out of this field. Some people loved him and liked what he contributed into the field. Uh, personally, I liked his early stuff uh, when it wasn't so uh, big, but um, I think he can be well respected for what he has accomplished, at least try to contribute to the field. Uh, some people would say, nah, he wasn't you know, that good of a person, he wasn't that good of a researcher, he faked a lot of stuff. But whatever your guys' opinions are, I, I don't have an opinion on him. I didn't watch this stuff very much, but I know what he did. Kind of shocking to actually see him go out of the field, uh, because he's been in it for so long and everybody most likely knows him. And if you don't, yeah, he, he tried to communicate with, uh, or try to find communication devices to see if he could talk to the spirit world. Now, I was on his website earlier uh, to see if any of this was true, and I went to HuffParanormal.com, and it says here, sorry for all the smudge marks, I don't know if it's going to focus or not, there we go, it says this site is no longer available as I have quit ITC, thank you for your support, love and light to all, thank you. So I've heard different uh, rumors that his Facebook's gone on the subject. He doesn't have his YouTube page up on the paranormal anymore. And now his website. So what I have found is that, you know, many of you probably know this too, but he, he loves photography, video, and all that. So he does have his video stuff up still. So if you want to go check that out, go ahead. But yeah, I think it's kind of just shocking to see someone just leave that was so popular in the field no matter what his reputation was or what you thought of him. But I want to talk about something also and this has to involve why he left and there are so many people out there in this community that have left for the same reason. It's because of anxiety or something related to believing that they are being kind of impacted by the spirit world. Now if you watch Steve's kind of early stuff, it seemed like he was followed around by these things like he was a magnet for it because he would pick up voices just on his uh, video recording device all the time without any communication devices up and going. But he left because I think from the video I've been watching, there's a video up with him and another guy, I don't know the guy's name so I'm sorry ahead of time, but they're talking about basically what's been going on with Steve and everything and I guess they had some mediums or whatever try to, I guess, tell Steve what he's been having done to him right now, like why he's impacted. And basically, from what it's basically saying is that, and what he believes too, is that he's being impacted by something demonic, uh, what he called interdimensional being. And the problem with this is that I think it's a wake up call for anybody in this field or people who practice witchcraft or anything like that. It is my firm belief, because I am a Christian, that most of these things that you guys are looking at or sensing, although it doesn't seem like that, is that it is possibly demonic and it is my firm belief that it is. Now it's hard to prove that to you guys due to the nature of it. I mean, you guys see the demonic cases where they're mean and scratching and attacking people. And then there's cases like where I went, the Whaley House, where you don't experience any of that, but rather just spirits walking around most of the time or just messing with things. Uh, people see them. So there's many cases like that out there, but I think it is a wake-up call to 
know that what a lot I hear of interdimensional beings of being or aliens, the aliens uh, that we kind of see out there due to the abduction cases and all that. A lot of people believe they're interdimensional spirits, basically spirits who are putting on this kind of facade, like this mask that they are someone from another um, planet or something. I think it is a wake up call, like I said, it is my firm belief that everything that we encounter that's intelligent is pro possibly demonic. And I say possibly because that's my belief, maybe not yours, but it's my firm belief it is. And I think what's got to happen is you got to be careful when you are actually trying to be in this field. I don't encourage people to go in this field because of the fact of fear that you might have from it is the main one. If you have fear, then don't do it. Um, the second thing is, is that a lot of people come into this field thinking it's going to be a blast, fun, and thrill. Don't come into the field for that. Um, and because honestly it's not that fun unless you have a passion for proving that there is something out there and I think a lot of what paranormal investigators are doing like Steve if he was being genuine and for me is that we're trying to uh, stump the scientific community who pushes this whole phenomena away and explain it is that we and anyone who believes in anything spiritual lack critical thinking skills and that we're just not thinking clearly basically psychologists say the same thing and that's the reason I'm kind of out here because science pushes away a lot of this and science has basically becomes in some people's minds type of a religion to follow in terms of what they believe so for example evolution is just a theory I'm not gonna get in an argument about evolution, but it's a theory, but people will still stick to it as if it's a law and that it's true, although science says it's just a theory. I've had someone try to argue that case. I don't, I don't wanna get into it, but they try to argue in the case that gravity might as well be fake too. And, and you know, unfortunately that's a law. So I think there's people that are mis interpreting things out there. They don't know exactly what they're talking about. And I think Science is kind of pushing an agenda instead of what they are actually researching. And people want to say, well, ghost hunting and paranormal investigating can't be science because it's impossible to prove. But the thing is, guys, if we are catching voices, if we are seeing things move, if we're seeing apparitions, if we can observe it, that is science, guys. That is science. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but that's science. And that's what kind of irritates me is that if we can prove in an age where people regard spiritualism, you know, as fake, and although I don't encourage people to go into spiritualism, because that's kind of a religion, but people re disregard today spirit world as just fake, made up stories, as fake, made up stories, guys. And I think that is just sad because, one, it pushes people away from the thought that God can exist, in my belief, it is Jesus Christ and the only way that you can actually be saved and be protected and through all this. I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm not afraid to say it. My, my truth in life paranormal stems from Jesus is saying that um, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that's to point you guys to that scripture and what I believe. But anyways, while I'm ranting here, um, I think it's important to go into every, if I'm talking to any paranormal investigators out there, to go into every situation and treat it as if it's demonic. Now we will talk to these things as if that's who they are. For example, I might say, Billy over here, come out, or Tommy over here, come out. And the thing is, is that they go by these names, okay? So we have to call them by that to get them to do something. Doesn't necessarily believe, I believe it's Tommy that died at three years old due to being ran over on his bicycle. Or it doesn't mean I believe it's Elizabeth who had died with uh, TB and she is now haunting a bed that she was laying on that is still being in use. I don't believe for one second and I'm not going to believe for one second that these spirits are telling me the truth 
And that's due to the fact I can't see them. I can't talk to them face to face. And uh, it's just deceptive in nature if you think about it. You can't see them. You can't talk to them unless you try to create some device to or record them uh, through voice recordings. It, it just seems deceptive in nature. Now, what if you, and there's probably people out there saying, well, how can you know that they're all demonic if I get my grandma saying hi or someone saying something nice on the recordings? Well, the thing is, though, is that you don't have to treat these things as if they are you or me. They are different. They are in a realm that we can't experience and we can't see. Uh, so why should we be trying to uh, believe what they say or believe that these things are nice? Now, as a paranormal investigator, it is my goal trying to follow scientific principles as well as I can uh, so I can feel a part of that community to try to say, hey, we need to take this seriously. And my hopes that we will push people towards a higher, the highest being possible, and that's God himself. And I push for Jesus Christ. As you can see across there, that's my belief. Um, I'm, my name is Truth and Life Paranormal. And that's who I push people towards. And I think the only way you can be protected is if you read the Bible, if you pray to God, and that you just are spiritually grounded in His Word and trust. And that when we are out here trying to prove the paranormal, we aren't trying to prove that there are dead people still walking the world. We are trying to prove that the phenomena is here and that people need to take it seriously and people need to rethink what they believe. Science pushes that it's not real, so people are gonna say it's not real and they push it away from God. And I've had so many people and you know, not a lot, but a few that will try to dog me for doing this and say it's not right based on some Bible verses that tell you to stay away from witchcraft and mediums. And the reason for that is because God doesn't want you worshiping or take trust to these entities or people who push you away from God himself. Um, so spirits are all around us and some people will say, well, don't go out and talk to them. It's not that I'm talking to them for advice. I'm not talking to them for any of that. I am trying to prove to the world that there is a spiritual world out there that one day you're going to be judged from and that we are all going to be somewhere after this as it can show from many of those people that believe there is something going on after life. So I, have, I wanted to rant there because there's so many um, people that are kind of bashing me for doing this and I think it's a very good time an ironic time from prayers and everything that Steve Huff quits and is talking about interdimensional beings and stuff that he's being attacked by or that he's been um, or he's been feeling that has been scaring him and pushing him away to the point to where he quits I don't know Steve's religion I don't know if he has religion but um, I think this is a point and proof that this needs to be taken more seriously as it can hurt us emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So guys, I wanted to rant about that and uh, tell me what you guys think. I know a lot of people have different beliefs out there than I do, but like I said, my main goals in this is to investigate, to show that the phenomena is real, despite that I talk to spirits that probably his name's not Tommy. Um, I'm also out here to show that science is wrong and they don't have it all figured out. And if you guys think that they do, then you might want to review all the things that they have been wrong in, in the past life. Or the past, in the past, like, they've gotten so many things wrong. And that's what science is, is proving and getting things right. So I'm not dogging them. But I am saying that they might want to check this kind of phenomena out themselves and take it more seriously. And third, I hope to push people with my channel and my beliefs, people who feel brought in, that they are affected in a way that they want to follow Christ himself through the evidence I propose and my points that I talk. I hope people will see that and I can share with you guys the gospel in a way that proves that he is here with us 
and that the spiritual world that he has been sovereign over is here and working. So guys, I hope you kind of enjoyed that video. If uh, you want to check out more on Steve Huff, keep up with him on other YouTube videos or maybe even his Twitter. I, I've seen his uh, Twitter, I guess it's the photography one, is still up. So um, I don't know how else to keep in contact with him um, other than just keep a lookout on other videos maybe and uh, just take this warning from this instance of Steve Huff quitting as a warning to anyone who just wants to dive into this for the thrill and who believes that they are talking to nice things when you can't see them with your own eyes but yet you will trust them with anything they say without knowing exactly where they come from. You know where I came from because I am in a human body. I came from a woman. I'm a man. I'm here talking to you. So guys, what I'm saying is be careful out there. Um, it, it's probably a sad day for you guys. It's a sad day for um, a lot, but um, some people see it as a way for the field to grow more. So whatever your beliefs, guys, Steve Huff is apparently done. I don't know if he's putting on some show or not, but at this moment, I'm just going to go off from what I have read and seen or saw, however you want to use the word. Um, but guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more updates, more investigations. Um, yeah. So I'll catch you all in the next video, okay? Peace.